Hey guys, this is Saranch and I play for Chennai FC in the EISL. I've been competing for a long time now and I've been requested by people to show some tips and tricks which can help them improve in FIFA. So today I'll be guiding you guys through some of those tips and tricks. So I personally believe that FIFA is a game in which if you have a fundamental strong then you can become a much better player. So in today's episode I'll be taking you guys through some of those fundamentals such as player lock, player switching, short cancels etc. So let's start with the very first point which is player lock. This feature was added into FIFA a couple of years ago and I believe this is one of the best features of the game. To do this what you have to do is simply click both sticks in which is the L3 and R3 and then you can see a diamond pop up on your player. And from there you can flick your right hand lock to select your preferred player and ask for a normal pass or a through ball depending on what you want. Like right now I I can see space down the wing so I try to run down and then select my striker and ask for a X pass when I believe he is free and in a lot of space. So the main use for this is that this confuses your opponent's defense and as you can see that you can use this in very different variations like I can do an L3 R3 pass and then pass it to my teammate and then ask for a pass again like right now I am R9 I ask for a pass I pass it to Mbappe and Mbappe is the AI and I can still run around with R9 and ask for a pass when I'm free So for the second part of the video I'll be talking about short cancels I believe these are one of the best This is one of the best skill move in the game and I like to do, do them a lot. So to do this skill move what you have to do is press the shooting button and then use the super cancel feature which was added last year which is L2 and R2. So you have to take a shot and then cancel it midway which gives you a very sleek animation and this can be used to even bait goalkeepers as you can see in this situation that Kotwa generally commits to the shot cancel and falls down to the ground. So now I'll be taking you guys through a corner kick routine. I believe corner kicks are very overpowered this year in FIFA 22 and this technique can help you score more goals and in turn win more matches. So to make use of this corner kick, you are, what you have to do is make use of the L3 R3 feature which I was talking about in the earlier part of the video. As you can see I'm switched to hold it and then I do the L3 R3 and ask for an X pass with Marquinhos and that's an easy goal for Marquinhos. So coming to the last point but not the least, I'm going to talk about goalkeeper movement. Goalkeeper movement is a basic in FIFA and I believe that in certain situations when your defenders are beaten your goalkeeper can bail you out. So as you can see here I give the ball away quite cheaply to my opponent and it gives him an open opportunity to throw on goal. I don't have a defender here and it's basically impossible to defend this one on one opportunity. So in this case I use the right analog stick to move my goalkeeper to the far post as I predict that my opponent is going to take a shot towards the far post. And luckily I move him far post and he takes a shot far post and I can come up with a save. I talked about four fundamental aspects which I really like about the game but before leaving I'll also like to talk about one favorite skill move of mine which is the roulet I believe it's very overpowered and I've been using it a lot in the EISL matches and I think that if you learn it you can become a better player So to do the roulet what you have to do is turn the right analog stick from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock basically as you can see and it just looks beautiful for me honestly I like spamming roulets as I've done in the EISL So that was it for today's episode. If you liked the video, please like and share and don't forget to watch us play our EISL games on Ordun Gaming's Facebook and YouTube channel and I'll see you guys next time.